Hey guys, I'm doing an update on the, the uh, Baofeng, I should say, DM1801. And they have a new firmware out now. Real simple, real quick. And it is hard to find, but I'm going to post a link on it later in my description, for those who are wondering. And uh, we'll go with the... Uh, it's backwards, but it's... 2.02.5.05, I should say, and it has fixed a lot of the bugs. Plus, there's also a software. Do not go to baofengradio.ca. Don't, because the software is incompatible with this radio whatsoever. So, with an update on that, since I've hit almost 900 views, so thank you for watching. But the big thing is, is it works now. And it works real well. And it picks up DMR like crazy. I'm going to see if I can pick one up. The zones are fixed. And we'll go to the... There. As I got Glenn's Cab, which is on RadioReference.com, by the way. You need to go there and check it out. It's really good. Um, I'm a contributor to uh, the Bofang. I mean, Bofang Radios. Especially RD5R. I don't own one anymore, but I'm a big contributor to it. So, you know... It does pretty well. And it does have promiscuous right. mode, which you is the monitoring. Now, right? And this yeah. does, as you can okay, see. Okay, no, I'm just asking, come in the story. Uh, and I'll give you a call. But as you can see, it does work now on analog and digital. So we have no problems there. There is a new firmware out there right now. And I'm not in any part of this saying that it's, it's a godsend because it is actually, but it's in development right now. It's called the OpenGD77 and they made a firmware for the 1801. I've tried it out. It works great. It does really well. But as they say on the website, I'll link all that in the description below here in a little bit as soon as I up upload this video. But it works really well. It does a lot of things. There are some limitations to it, and they have addressed them. The main one is it does CCCS. It does not do the DCS, you know, digital code squelching. Not yet. They are working on it. But it is not a big priority right now. They're just trying to get this out and going. Great firmware. I would try it, but use it at your own risk. They always say that. It's an experiment. Now I went back to this one. We found I found out the big problem with this is is with these radios, you cannot go but all the firmware of the original, which is on this Baofeng.ca. There's no support whatsoever for it on the radios or the software. And on my last one I made it made it very clear I was frustrated because of the fact that they were having issues with it, but now they've taken care of it. Well, Baofeng Radio Oddity took care of it. The site has not. So, I'm going to try to see if I can link that updated firmware in the description below. The low BT version indicates that it came with a higher fir firmware version. And that's hard to find. you got to look very carefully or go through, go through some of these forms. OpenGD77.com. The forms are great there. I have no problems with it whatsoever. I love that form. Also, with the development and everything, I'll link some of the descriptions below for the references and resources for this radio. This is a great radio for the price. It is very solid, very reliable. Okay, now... I will try to answer my questions and any references or any questions that you have below for this. And I will try to do my best to answer them. In the meantime, while you're doing this, update the firmware. It will fix a lot of bugs. And update the software, the CPS that you're using on it. Because then you won't have those squares on your zones or on the channels. It will actually bring it out correctly. Not a problem. Easy fix. You're good.
All right. Any more questions, ask below. I'll see you on the next video.